machine. Hmm? Machine. We are going to start. Machine. What is machine? Very simple use, very simple uh, meaning. It is simple device to convert one form of energy into M. General meaning. One form of energy into M. Or one form of energy into the same form. See, but here in your class, in our class 10th level, what is machine? Hmm? See, a device which makes our work easier, easier, faster, convenient, easier, faster, convenient, and speed. Machine, it is a device which makes our work easier, faster, convenient and speed. A device which makes our work easier, faster, convenient and speed. That is only machine. That is only machine. Simply see, I am writing using this pen. If I am writing using this one uh, computer or printing press, printing machine, then that is machine. That is machine. If I am going on feet to a school, huh? and in place of going on feet, we are using bicycle, then that is also machine. Huh? That is also machine. So what is a machine? It is a device which makes our work easier, faster, convenient and speedy. Huh? A device which makes our work easier, faster, convenient and speedy. See, how to, which, see. <clears throat> see. Suppose you want to displace this uh, heavy stone from it. Then you need a long rod, fix it over here at point, and one then support, you press it downward, then the stone will turn up. Got it? Then the stone will turn upward. So here, in this very simple machine, what work has done? Means we have, what machine has done? We have applied the force at our convenient point. Huh? Yeah, we may be having some problem while applying our force on this stone directly. So, using a straight rod, huh? we have applied the force uh, at a point, at a convenient point. Suppose you want to open a wrench, open a nut. Then directly if you open it, it is very difficult to open it. But using a wrench, huh, you apply the force in our convenient direction, convenient point. Then this is machine. Number two, suppose this is pulley, fixed pulley and a heavy load to be lifted. Then to lift the load this way, it is very difficult. And if we are applying a force, here, then it is going to be very easy. Here what we have done? Here we have changed the direction of application of force. Now number three. Number three. Here we have to, what we have done? Change the direction of application of force. See, number three. Guess what is it? It is a bicycle. And here, this is a paddle. Huh? Yes, you are applying, you apply the force on the paddle downward. You apply the force on the paddle downward. But bicycle moves upward. It means, what you have done? Here also, you have changed the point of application of force as well as the direction of application of force. It has made your work very easy. One more thing. You know gearboxes in your cycles also. Gearbox. In your bicycle also they are having uh, gear. In motorcycle, in cars, huh? buses. 
gearbox. What is the use of gearbox? To get the speed. Scissors. Scissors. Here also, scissors. To get the speed. It means a machine can change the point of application a machine can change the point of application of force at a convenient position convenient position a machine can change the point of application of force at a convenient position a machine can change the point of application of force at a convenient position Number one, number two, a machine can change the direction of application of force. Change the direction of application of force. A machine can change the direction of application of force. Number three, it can increase the, it can make our work convenient i don't know lifting a heavy stone directly it is very difficult but using a pulley hmm? it makes our work convenient and it makes our work speedy faster it makes our work speedy faster so machine can change the point of application of force uh, at our convenient position. Number two, change the direction of application of force. Make our work convenient. Huh? Make our work speed. Now, see. <clears throat> so, what is a machine actually? It is a device which is used to overcome a large resistive force it is a device which is used to overcome a large resistive force it is a device which is used to overcome a large resistive force hmm? that we call load it is a device which is used to overcome a force huh? that is load we, it is uh, a device which is used to overcome a large resistive force load by applying by applying a less huh? by applying a less force that is effort it is a device which is used to overcome a large resistive force load now, by applying a less force effort at our convenient point at our convenient point of application of force is called what? A machine is called what is machine? It is a device which is used to overcome a large resistive force load by applying a less force effort at our convenient point of application of, you know, the force I mean to say application of load is called machine. What machine? Jo ek chote se effort to laga ke, bade se load ko, resistive force ko overcome kar sakte. Machine. It is a device which is used to overcome a large resistive force load by applying a less force effort at our convenient point of application or load is called machine. Is called a machine. Got it? Is called a machine. Now see some terms related to the machine. See load. What is this load? You know, load actually this is the large resistive force which is to overcome. 
that is load. Load is the last resistive force that is to overcome. That is load. And what is uh, you know effort? Last resistive force that is to overcome. That is load. And effort? What is effort? The force we apply to overcome the load. The force we apply to overcome the load. Yes, that is said to be effort. That is said to be effort. Huh? One thing what mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage. What is mechanical advantage? The ratio between load and effort. The ratio between the load and the effort is called mechanical effort. The ratio between the load and the effort is called mechanical advantage. It has no unit. Why? Because it is the ratio between the two similar things. It has no unit. It has no because it is the ratio between the two similar physical quantities. Yes? See, if mechanical advantage is greater than what? Simple meaning. It means load bada effort chota hai. So, aisi machine ko hum log bolte hai kya? Force multiplier. Aisi machine ko kya bolte hai? Force multiplier. And if mechanical advantage is equal to 1, so then change the direction of change the direction of force in our convenient direction. In our convenient, if mechanical advantage is one, then to change the direction of force in our convenient direction. And if mechanical advantage is less than one, it means that machine is used as a speed multiplier. That machine is used as a speed multiplier. Got it? That machine is used as a speed multiplier. One more thing. Velocity ratio. What is velocity ratio? The <coughs> ratio between velocity of effort to the velocity of load. The ratio between the velocity of effort to the velocity of load is called velocity ratio. Means what is velocity ratio? Velocity of effort upon velocity of load. This is velocity ratio. Since both are velocity, so no sorry, it is a ratio between two physical quantities, so no two similar physical quantities, so no 